Hey everyone, I'm Dan from jazzcomposerspresent.com, an online space where composers, musicians, and listeners come together to celebrate the music we love. I'm joined today by Jihei Lee, New York-based composer, arranger, and band leader. Jihei's latest album, Daring Mind, was produced by Darcy James Argue and features renowned trumpeter Sean Jones. Jihei is here to show us some creative ways to use sequences. Thanks, Dan, and hi, everyone. I would like to talk about sequences by looking into one of my compositions called Relentless Mind in the album Daring Mind. Um, so the story that I wanted to um, deliver through this music was about New York. So when I first came to New York, I look, in, I look at the people and then they were like really busy running around. And I, it was amazing to see that all the professionals still try to be better. So that was my uh, story of New York. And then, I, and then I wanted to deliver through my music, Relentless Mind, relentlessly pursuing their dreams. Um, so first I came up with the intro. So when you look at, look at the intro, um, I played around with the repetitive lines and notes. So things like that. So um, after playing around like quite a, quite, a, quite a while, and then I came up with the number. So which is three, four, five, two, six, five, three, nine, seven. So that's the number row. I didn't come up with the number first and then, you know, fill the note, but I played around and after I finished the intro, I found the number row. So the based on that intro number row, um, I decided to give every rhythm section players um, different sequences to play. Um, so first I came up with the bass line, which is three, four, five, one. Um, it ac actually is from the um, intro section, um, but rather I used quarter note instead of the eighth note. So three of three quarter notes, four quarter notes, five quarter notes, and one. So it is total 13 beats. If I didn't use the last last one beat, it would have been just usual uh, three measure of four, four, but because I put one beat after, it feels like 13. Um, but I actually notated it as 4-4. Four, four. I'll, I'll explain why I did that. Uh, and after that, I came up with the piano sequences, which is uh, having six, five, four, three, two of quarter notes. So it plays continuously up until the solo section. And next, guitar. It's just like four uh, beats in four four. So four measures of four beats, which can be very normal. But since we build up the bass line and drums, 13 beats, that four four doesn't sound like four four. It rather sounds a bit off. So so all, all uh, one, two, three, that uh, rhythmic sequences plays together, but never really never really feels like, oh, this is one we play together. We start from here together. So, you know, it's like as, it's like as all the individuals living in New York doing their own thing, the rhythm section players um, do their own thing and harmonizes together. So let's give it a listen. So let's go back to the intro, which is uh, the base of all this compositional method. So you see number and you see the lines. Um, so based on this number row, I came up with the melody. Um, so you see the same number, but I didn't really strictly follow all the lines or numbers or phrases. So sometimes I use three numbers um, for one phrase or two numbers or one number. So um, it starts with the three, four, five. So I used three number rows and have some rest. And then I start with the number like two beats, which is the next number that I, right after that I stopped. So two, six and have some rest. And then number five uh, and then two rests. 
So it keeps going on um, like this. Um, so even though I um, used the number material, but um, I had a, I took the liberty to arrange um, the, the phrases as I wish, as I um, compose a melody on it. So when you look at it, it's really uh, looking like the intro, uh, intro line. Um, and it really looks like 4-4. Four, four. But remember that uh, with the rhythm section loop, we already built the 13 beats staggering feeling. So um, I would say because the melody is 4-4 four, four and the uh, rhythm section is 13 beat feeling, um, those two parts in a big picture conflict to each other. And it creates certain like, it, it, it hangs somewhere. It never really feels like grounded. Oh, we landed on something or this is one, this is four, things like that. There's no such feeling like that. So um, that was my hectingness uh, storytelling through my composition. Um, so I would say it can be maybe polyrhythm, polymeter, whatever you want to call it. Um, so let's let's listen to that um, all together with the full score and then you can see if you if you're focused on the melody you can feel the groove of four four if you are focused on the rhythm section groove loop you feel like oh this is 13 beat So that was the relentless mind uh, from my album Daring Mind and sometimes I really enjoy the randomness that is not from my brain but um, you're just playing around and then just randomly uh, build the sequences and then see how those lines sequences play together harmonize together it's so much fun so please enjoy using this method Thanks for watching today's mini lesson. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Drop any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos in the comment section down below. To watch our full length events and participate in live Q and A's with our presenting artists, head over to jazzcomposerspresent.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.